I'll see you about an hour and a half. Right. Almost wore out for you and get to go fishing. It's like that every morning. Drive an hour and a half, go pump gas, try to catch bass. Get wore out. I got on so many clothes I can't even move. I'm worn out. I'm, I'm already sweating. Unreal. I don't know what it's going to take. I would say 15 pounds ish. ish. So, uh, we're gonna throw a jerk bait a lot today. Six, eight, medium, same game plan. So, we're gonna stick with that. We may have to change it up, go cranking. Who knows? Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, here we are. Oh, are we opening up the whole video? Yeah, Welcome the whole back. video. Okay. All right, guys, here we are. Welcome back to the channel. This is the knockout round for Red Crest. Okay, we're on Grand Lake. It's cold again. What do you know? It's freaking cold out here. It's winter time. It's not springtime. Is it springtime? <laughs> it's not springtime. It ain't. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask all these people. Is it springtime right now? Oh, yeah. It's winter. We ain't yeah. about it. So uh, that's what we're doing. We're trying to catch a bass. And uh, it's a beautiful day to go bass fishing. So if y'all stay tuned with us, we gotta make this top five. It's gonna be a grind. I can tell you that. I wish I had that guy on the boat with me. That's the winning guy right there. I won Red Crest from him last time. Tomorrow. Crazy Rick. Tomorrow, Rick. Crazy Rick. Y'all stay tuned. Four of them. 
coming out on the bait. And the smallest one did it. I don't know if he's gonna keep. Oh, she's about a 112. Two pounds, six pounds. Oh, she's bigger than what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> she got a fin in my hand. Why'd you do that to me? Look. Did you see where that fin shaved off? That was literally in my palm right there. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm over here shaking this morning, I ain't gonna lie to you, because I've done had like three big ones come out on my bait. And that's the first one that actually came up and committed to it. And when I say she came up and smoked it, it was like that far in the water. Look at that three. Oh, this is a big one. This is a big one. That's how you start, baby. That's how you start. I'm telling you. Y'all just seen me. They there. If I get them to buy, I'm going to say three pounds, eight ounces. Three pounds, 12 ounces. Ooh. Nick, Chris, welcome to it. Beautiful spring morning. I'm going to have to cut my ash target off back there. Y'all have too much fun this morning. Do score tracker update. You're still in first place with six pounds two ounces. Bobby Lane's in second with two pounds zero ounces. No other anglers on the score tracker. <laughs> I got a hook in me, ow. <laughs> I got a hook in me, ow. <clears throat> that was a train wreck. <laughs> she bit it though. Barely hooked. Two pounds, 12 ounces. 212. 212, look how pretty. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. That fish is actually swimming to me. She wasn't sitting on a brush. She was swimming down the bank. I'll take it. Here's a score tracker update for you. You have 8 pounds, 14 ounces. Jordan Lee's caught his second fish. He now has 6 pounds, 7 ounces. Michael Neal has one fish. Three pounds, eight ounces. Mark Davis is in fourth, two pounds, nine ounces. Jacob Wheeler's in fifth, two pounds, three ounces. Greg Vincent has one fish with two pounds, one ounce, and Bobby Lane has one fish with two pounds, zero ounces. I got a ton of other places I can run. I mean, like my toilet. I just don't want to run around right now. This first period, try to stack some weight. If I need to run around like a madman. <laughs> uh, I was talking about get it. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Three, two, one. Lines out, end of period one. All right. That's the end of the first period. We're sitting okay. Catch me a few. We're about to get on some good stuff. I kind of want to come here and check this, but it ain't really popping off like I want it to. So we're going to get back after them in a minute and go check some more stuff. I practiced and found a bunch of good stuff. 
and Honey Creek. I mean, I don't want to go run around like a madman yet. <laughs> How'd you do that? Oh, oh my god! I had her hooked up too. Holy smokes! God. I did everything right. She just didn't get it. I had her hooked up. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, man, I've had so many opportunities that them are bigger. I mean, it's like you roll up and they're going to bite if you got to work it fast. Two pounds, 14 ounces. I'm sorry, two pound, 14 ounce fish. You're still in fourth. You're three ounces behind Bobby Lane, and who's in third? What's my weight? 11 pounds, 12 ounces. Oh, that was a big one. She come up on it like a top water almost. That's a three pounder right there. Three pound. Oh. Seven ounces. Mm-hmm. Three seven. Got a little black dots on him. Fish right there is fat. Healthy. That's golden right there. God, I love bass fishing. <laughs> Just gonna splash me in the face, man. Y'all are saying I have been grinding, trying to find two areas. Like, I've never even fished that tree before. I've seen her come up out of it like I was that far out of the water. Uh, they want to come in so bad, but they just ain't there yet. Here in the little week or so, so we're gonna look, boom. I'm glad I got her. A three pound, seven ounce fish doesn't move you to third place. You have 11 pounds, zero ounces to catch first. Second place is Jordan Lee with 19 pounds, zero ounces. You're four pounds, well, three pounds, and 13 ounces below him. What's my total weight? 15 pounds, three ounces, 15 pounds. fish was not on brush or nothing he was literally just on a bank leading in and i had one follow me to cast before that so let's see so when i 
Ah, you got it. Like, really good. Four, three, two, one. Lines up. So you're saying she don't count. <laughs> no, she does count. That's gotta be a no, she counts. That's gotta be like a three four. That like a three ten. Oh, okay. Three ten. Thank you. Thank you. Three ten. Look at that. Oh, thank you. There we go. That's the way you end a period right there in the red crest. Man. It's gonna grind out here for us, but you know I'm 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 really just practicing right now. Like I'm just running new water. I'm trying to get on a pattern. You know, I, I love fishing brush, but I can't seem to find a, enough of it. You know, I mean, you just gotta think of all this area through here, there ain't much in the water and they're gonna gravitate toward brush or whatever. But those fish were literally just down a deep transition bank to that flat. So just trying to piece the puzzle together, you know, so. I did have two follow right then, so it may be one of them deals. The deepest water near the back, I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. That is going to go a long way, though. I've been holding for the last second here, apparently. Looks like Jordan Lee, Mark Davis, and Bobby Lane caught a fish also. Oh, awesome. You're fourth now. <laughs> 18-13, Jordan Lee's 21-8, Bobby Lane's 21-12, you can look at it. Alright. That was awesome. That, that was, was a good so deal. Cool, man. That was cool. Two and a half minutes. Man, that 15 minutes went by fast. Yeah, it did. All right, guys, here we go. One, and a half, one minute, 15 seconds. We're going into period three. We got 18 something right now. We need to catch a couple fish, make this cut, and we go to championship round. So, gonna keep grinding. I've got some areas that I like, but right now I'm just running new water, you know, and seems to be okay. So, we're gonna keep trucking. Four, three, two, one. Lines in, again, third period. Six ounces, three, two ounces, three pounds, three ounces, three pounds, three ounces. This lake has so many three pounders, it's crazy. Look at that. Man. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. That's how you start period three right there. That's how you do it. That's four bites I've seen down here. One follow me. Yep, that's four. Crazy. Huh. Huh. I mean, <laughs> I think we're going to leave from right here. We're probably going to leave. That one's about a 3.11. Oh, 
Oh, he's, I'm way off. Three, three. Three, five, three ounces. He's just going better. Yeah. Yep, I believe we're done right through here, boys. That's awesome. Thank you, buddy. Hello. I give them crankbait boys a little run for the money. I don't know what they're catching them on, but they might be doing this too. Imagine some of them are crank. Let's go find a little more. I mean, I mean, even if we do make it, we gotta have some weight more. I mean, them boys are on them. Lead in banks. minutes left Jordan Lee's first with 30 pounds 13 ounces seconds Michael Neal 28 pounds 12 ounces Bobby Lane third 27 pounds 13 ounces your fourth 25 pounds 3 ounces Mark Davis fifth 21 pounds 2 ounces Jacob Wheeler sixth 18 pounds 5 ounces Rick called him a no yep 411 we got the big fish of the day so far First with 33 pounds, two ounces. Michael Neal just caught a 213. Jacob Wheeler caught a 211. Jacob's in? Nope, he's two ounces back. some juice and get back in it them boys are scaring me for a minute because i'm telling you jacob wheeler's not letting off the pedal and i gotta get back in this sucker come over here to some juice and go and get bit two, two pounds ten ounces thank you them boys started worrying me so i'm like mm, i don't know about this they are down through here i mean good Good practice, you don't really want to go catch them all, but I ain't got enough cushion to be chilling right now. I got to, I got to catch me a couple if I can. You're still in fourth place with 27 pounds, 13 ounces. You and Bobby Lane are tied. Bobby's got the biggest fish, though. You have the same number of fish, he's got the biggest. Another one. Down 
pound, 12 ounces, not four. Jacob Wheeler caught a five pound, 11 ounce fish. Hey. Puts him up fifth place with 26 pounds, 11 ounces. He's one pound behind you, basically. I had to burn him. I mean, I had to. I mean, what, there's like a six pound difference? I mean, they may have caught a six pounder. I ain't taking it. Three pounds, eight ounces. Boom! Late day ding. Late day ding. I did not want to come back through here. I mean, I really did. But you got Jacob back there catching five. I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't doing it. I ain't taking a chance. I hate to catch them, but they're there down through here. I mean, low. Dude, that ends it. That puts you in third place with 31 pounds, five ounces, one pound, 13 ounces out of the lead. Don't let me just go ahead and get it. I'll go ahead and get it. Four, three, two, one. Lines out into period three, into the knockout round. Congratulations on making it to the championship round. Thank you, sir. We got it done. I like it. I like it. So you're saying there's a chance. I don't know. <laughs> Good day, actually. I can't complain. I did lose a couple fish. But, uh, I'm just glad the sun came out. It's back springtime now. It's just been wintertime. So, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Championship round. Mm. I caught some three pounders today. Three eight, three three, three three, three ten, yeah. three seven, three twelve. That's what's up. Um, you did good today. Freaking rocked it. Dude. Really wish you wouldn't quit when you had them though. <laughs> that, was, that made me nervous. <laughs> are you kidding me? What'd you say? When you quit over there, I thought, why are you quitting so soon? <laughs> well, here's the thing. I was you still made it, but it's yeah, I was like twenty five pounds, and I was like, surely twenty five. Well, Jacob was fourteen pounds back. Yeah, no. I and I was like, well, I mean, surely if yeah, I just go practice and I can catch a couple, and after that, I lost that big one. It was a three and a half pounder. I was like, oh, you notice there was a little sense of urgency there, and I said, screw this, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I started worrying. I started worrying. I said, oh, sh I said, I can see it happening. He does, man. He just turns it on and needs to. It's, it's, That's it's, unreal. You need this mic? Yeah. I dropped it down, so I just need wherever it is down there. You're going to get in a limo. All right. And go to Tulsa. Okay. We'll put your tackle up for you, and they're going to haul your truck to Tulsa. All right. Mm -hmm. Truck and trailer, I should say. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Appreciate it. We'll get it done tomorrow. Two in a row. We'll try. <laughs> That's all we can do is try. Did y'all check out the expo? Yeah. Did you? 
Pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, we talked to Mark there. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, here we are. We just rolled out in the limo. Pretty cool deal. Everybody was on there hanging out. Grabbed me a cold cold brewski on there, so uh made the cut. We're back here at the expo. We're gonna slide in here, talk about the day. We had a good day. We got it. We get we we one step closer, one day at a time. So we'll slide in here. They put it on the show. Pretty cool deal. What's one thing this man hasn't done, and that's a Red Crest Championship up above the Toro Cut Line. Our first man, rather last man in the championship, meeting up with five others, and it's right where the place you want to be. Absolutely, you know, I I was sweating it there at the end. Obviously, I um, man, I, I didn't have a good couple first couple periods, and and there at that on, on the last couple, basically last hour was it was really magical. Last thirty minutes, I uh, I caught five, I caught four really nice ones and and snuck in there. It was in big bass of the day, five eleven. Man, you can't you can't ask for more than that. And um, I'm so excited to get out there tomorrow. Those championships, you've been in so many of them. Let's hear it for Mr. Jacob Wheeler. Coming up next, sitting in third place, 31 pounds, 5 ounces, 10 scoreable bass. He has put himself in contention to defend. It is your reigning Red Chris champion, Dustin Connell! Boy, getting the first one is hard. Defending it is even harder, and you've put yourself in a great place the championship round. Yeah, you know, it feels good to be back in championship round uh, in the Red Crest. It just seems like it was yesterday, so uh, I would love a little deja vu. You know, you just came off a stage win. Talk about the morning, that first bite, first guy in the score tracker. You saw it, thought it was going to set the tone right away. Yeah, you know, it, it, it really pays off in this, you know, in, in our deal to get an early start. And then uh, I, I, I took an early lead, and I was like, all right, so I wasn't really practicing. I was kind of like, I need to run some new water. I need to run some new water. And I finally did, and I kind of got in like a little groove. And then I rolled in on a stretch, bam, bam, bam. And I was like, all right, let's go. I'm out of here. Because winning today is not the important thing. Tomorrow is what matters. You, you know, look, we're going to take a look at some highlights here. When you said you were looking for new water, were you looking for different characteristics of that water or the same that you could re uh, duplicate your pattern? You know, Grand Lake is, uh, right now, I've never seen this place as clear as it is, That's okay? There's a lot of mud coming down the system right now, but I was trying to find some of that clear water in those creeks. These fish are pulling up every day. I mean, I'm seeing them a lot. I'm catching a lot of fish on jerk bait, just a bunch of different jerk baits. And, and uh, you can almost call your shot in some places. And I rolled in a little area later today, and it was like, bam, bam, bam. And I lost one, and then uh, they, uh, Jacob kind of scared me. He kind of scared me later today. So, so I was like, I started doing the math, and like Mark Davis was like four pounds away from me, and Jacob, I was like, all right, Jacob's about to pass me. So uh, I had to run back in there and catch a couple. But I, I think it could happen if if you if you generate and keep them hooked up, it could happen. You know, you could make it two in a row, not only with two consecutive victories, but also maybe that big championship once again with the Red Crest victory. Yeah, I would love to go back to back to back. So that that would be an uh, opportunity. It, it don't happen very much, so I'm going to leave it all out there, and uh, we'll see how it shakes out. You have been a great champion this past year. Let's see if he can do it again. That's Dustin Connell. All right. Here we are. We're back. We're back. Deja vu. Damn, I probably got a hook in me. 
Deja vu at Red Crest. Unbelievable. Championship round bound again. Very blessed because it, would, it didn't come easy. I went practicing today and I landed on a few places and got them. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, I feel good about it. I, I went practicing a lot and I was very fortunate to do what I, what I did in the boat. So, we're going out fishing tomorrow for $300,000. Unbelievable. If we just might actually pull this thing off, you know how awesome that would be. <laughs> I'm excited. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Next video is Jim.